Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Tuplex. Today we're going to be setting up blue science packs, or science pack threes, as they are officially known. Um, after the last episode, I doubled up on our green circuit production by adding another unit here. So we now have eight green circuit assemblers. Um, we're eventually going to need 30 of those. So um, we still have quite a bit of expansion left to do there. Um, we're also going to need to get more copper mining and smelting in place at some point. Um, I also upgraded all of the output belts to red for the green circuits. Because uh, we're going to start to use a lot more of them now. And, and all the bus lines for green are upgraded to red at this point. Um, we got our red circuits going last time. Uh, so we now have uh, red circuits on the bus alongside the green ones. And uh, I've put my spacers in here. And uh, so we can go ahead and place our first factory right there. All right, so that'll be the cornerstone of our blue circuit build. So um, the... Science packs beyond red and green start to get a lot more complicated in terms of layout. Uh, so I'll show you the approach that I take, and and I'm not I'm not going to show you today the most space efficient layout ever, uh, but it will work, and I think this is a good approach for uh, coming out with a with a good production layout with the correct ratio of machines and inputs and outputs. That's really going to be the focus here. Um, before we get started though, let's get some more research going. Uh, we did batteries. Um, <clears throat> actually, the the end game for us here is gonna be to launch a rocket. Uh, and the last piece of research that we need for that is rocket silo, which is down here. So if we click on that, that'll show us the whole tree of research that we need to get to the rocket silo. And that's a good way to identify uh, what pieces of research you're going to need to do. So uh, the ones that we need still that require red and green are flammables and modules. So why don't we go ahead and research those for now. Okay, so when it comes to these science packs, uh, I'll start by looking at the recipe. So here we can see that science pack three requires 12 seconds. So right off the bat, that's telling me that I'm going to need 12 of these machines uh, to keep up with the green and the red that we're producing. All right, so uh, so generally I'll start with the output and work my way back through the inputs. So let's set up 12 of these. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. All right, so these are all science pack threes. And then we'll put in our power poles and our lights. And get those powered up. Okay, one more power pole there, a large one there. And we are in good shape. Let me turn that off for a second. Okay, the other one was modules. So let's research modules. That's gonna unlock lots of cool stuff for us, which uh, I don't know if we're gonna get into all of that in this playthrough, but all right. Um, so 12 science packs. Now we need three inputs. One are advanced circuits, one are engine units, and one is mining drills. So, um, and then we'll have one belt on the output, obviously. So let's think about where we want these things to go. Um, what I'm thinking is that if we have an output belt here, or an input belt here, for that matter, well, this would be the this would be the output um, since it's going down, and then we could bring in red circuits over here. So why don't we start by doing that? Let's get our red circuits up there since those are already being made. 
And we can do that by... And here I'm going to use a red splitter because these are red belts here. But I'm only going to use a yellow on the output uh, just because we don't need any more than that. There. Yeah, because we only need, you know, one per second more or less. So yellow belt is more than enough to handle that. Uh, so then on that input, we will use the long inserters. There. Okay, and then we can go ahead and set up our output inserters. Like so. And then uh, once we get this going, we'll run this belt down here. Uh, we'll run it across and over to our labs, which are up there. Okay, we got modules. Uh, let's see what else we need. Uh, rocket silo. Okay, so we can do speed and productivity modules. Let's go ahead and research those. All right, now on the other side of things, uh, it gets a little more complicated. But let's go ahead and run a belt for these other inputs. So we're gonna need engines and mining drills. Uh, so my thinking here is that we can put um, we could put one on each side of this belt. So we'll put our inputs there. All right. Um, now let's look at. Let's look at engines. Or let's look at the other science packs, rather. Um, production science packs are going to use electric engines. And electric engines require engine units. Okay, so since we're gonna be using engine units in more than one location, we're gonna be using them here, we're gonna be using them for the production science packs as well. Uh, I think what I'd like to do is set up a dedicated area to make engine units. Okay, that's speed modules, uh, productivity modules. Let's do those. Uh, and then we can run them on a belt over there. All right, so for the blue science packs, uh, we need one, well, we need one per second there. Uh, we're going to need one per second approximately for the other ones as well. And these take 10 seconds each. So we're gonna need about 10 engine unit machines for the blue science, and we'll need about another 10 or so for the purple science. So why don't we set up an area with 20 machines making engines? And I think we could set that up down here. All right, so let's uh, get our spacing set. And so we'll put our first one right there. I'm gonna try to avoid this iron patch in case I uh, find a way to use it later. So we'll set up Let's see, that's, okay, what else can we do? Um, we're gonna need concrete to build the rocket silo, so let's research that. Actually, before we get too into this, let's look at the ingredients. Engine units need steel, gears, and pipes. So if I'm making 20 of these, if I'm making two per second, uh, two per second gear wheels is one machine. Uh, four per second pipes would be two machines. So I need two machines making pipes, and then we need gears, and we need steel plate. 
All right. So why don't we make one row of 10 machines? So it's two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So these can all be engines. And then we'll duplicate that here on the other side. Space of three in the middle for the belt. And we need to grab some more of those. there. All right, so a yellow belt on the output ought to be plenty. And let's power this up. to run power in from over here. There we go. Speaking of power, let's take a look. We still have plenty of electrical capacity. Okay. So now let's take care of our inputs. Um, so again, two pipes per. We have 20 machines. Um, and that means that we need four pipes per second. Uh, pipe takes half a second each, so we're going to need two machines making pipes, and we're going to need one making gears, and then we also need steel plate. So, uh, so what I'm imagining here is that we'll have pipes on one belt, and then another belt with steel and gears combined. Okay. So... Um, what we could do is we could put a machine there making the gears, and then we could put two machines here making the pipes, like that. Okay, and then we'll bring in the iron for that right here. Oops, let me switch my hot bars there. All right, so let's bring in some iron right here. Okay, and I picked a bad spot for this. Um, I'm going to have to bring it out here, I suppose. Oh, and I need more undergrounds. Grab some belts too while I'm at it. Three and four. Okay. There we go. Okay. Uh, and then we need to get. I want the pipes to come down here. So what I'll do is I'll bring I'll bring this belt down here and then 
jump across like that. Okay, there's concrete. Um, I don't, do I need lasers? Let's see what else we need here. Um, rocketry, explosives. Yeah, I can't really research anything else there. So let's do, let's do railway because I think we might need trains at some point. So we'll go ahead and get that started. All right. All right. So now we have gears, uh, and then I want to load. I want to side load steel on the other side of this belt. All right. So we're going to bring steel over here. No, that's okay. Bring it down here. Um, let's put another underground. And then bring our pipes in there. Okay. So now we can bring in our inputs the engines. All right, let's do automated rail transportation. Okay. And then we just bring these belts all the way down here. And then for the other side, we can loop the belts around. Uh, but first, let's get the outputs configured. And throw in some lighting. Okay. And I, I set it up with the pipes on the inside because um, more pipes are needed than the other stuff. And so I, I put the one that has a higher requirement on the inside uh, rather than the outside. All right, get some more yellow belt. and the steel plates as well. Okay. And let's get rail signals. a few more lights and we should be all set with the engines okay and then we just need to put these on the bus and let's see we've got stone so I think we'll put those on the bus right there. Actually, let's put our underground. All 
Okay. So again, we'll side load. So let's put the engines on the inside of the belt. Put a splitter and up we go. All right, so that took a while, but uh, we've got it. So now, the only thing that we have left are electric mining drills. So to make electric mining drills, one per second, we need at least two machines uh, because they take two seconds each. Um, and those take three electric circuits, five gears, and ten iron plates each. All right, so let's start with the Let's start with the two machines. Uh, and we could put them right there. Okay, we got rail done. Uh, let's do, let's do modular armor. All right, and then we need to put our output right there so that this inserter can grab it. Uh, and actually I'm gonna put that one there just to be safe. Oh, you know what? This should be on the other side because the mining drills need to be on the left side of the belt. it like that. Let me just pick up all these engines from that side of the belt and I'll just go ahead and insert them there. Okay. All right, so now these need circuits, gears, and plates. All right, now five gears in two seconds is two and a half per second. And one machine can't make two and a half gears per second. Uh, so we're actually going to need three gear machines. So let's do something like this. And we'll set this up much like we do for the green circuits. Okay. And we can put long inserters like that. And then these are going to need iron. we need iron plate as well and quite a lot of it these are going to need 10 iron plate every second all right what else can we do that's useful night vision might be good to have yeah let's do that um Let's see. No, that's not going to work. Okay, so what if we... What if we had our three gear machines up here? All right, accumulators. What if we had our three gear machines up here? And had those outputting Oh, 
onto a belt out here. Because we're going to need, since we need so much iron, I'm thinking we could bring a belt of iron up here. Because these are going to need, we're going to need 10 per second for the drills. And then we're going to need another 4, 8, 12 per second. So to, yeah, so one, one red belt should be enough for this. Uh, just a pure iron. So let's get that. Let's get that set up. And in this case, I'm going to want to do one of those high volume extractors. Like we did for um, for the circuits previously. There. Okay, and then Gears will come down here. Like that. And then the only other thing that we need here are green circuits, which ideally would be. Let's see, how could we do the green circuits? Let's, uh, let's do an underground belt from there to there. And then this could be an underground belt from there to there. And then we could bring green circuits in over here. Like this. Okay, and like I said, this is not um, this is not the most compact layout in the world. Um, in fact, it, it might even be one of the least compact layouts in the world, but it's going to get the job done. Um, and as you play more and you work on these things, uh, if you you know if you have a base where you're limited on space. Then, once you get it set up, uh, you can take some time to play with the layout and, and try to make it more compact, uh, if that's important to you. Right now, we've got plenty of space, uh, so this this is not bad. I'm not I'm not worried about this. Okay, so let's watch this start to go, and we are making blue science packs. And hopefully, we are making them without any interruption. You know, if we're feeding it quickly enough. And I think we are. All right, so that looks good. Now, uh, we need to get our blue circuits over to where they're needed. Uh, so let's take care of that next. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run this belt all the way over to where our labs are. Okay, that means we're going to have to relocate this slightly. Will that be okay? Yeah, we can move that over by one. All right, good. That radar is going to have to move completely out of the way. Yeah, that would be okay. Oops. There we go. Okay, and then 
from here. We'll bring this belt up here. And then we'll come across here and up through the center of our labs. Uh, speaking of labs, let's grab another research. Uh, I don't think we really need lasers at all. Uh, except to get military three. And military three is where you get the awesome power armor that lets you have um, fusion reactors and lots of personal roboports. Okay, so this belt is going to come up the middle here. All right, and then for that to work, we're going to need more red inserters. So let's go ahead and grab some of those. Some more blues. I also need undergrounds and splitters of the other variety. Okay. So now we'll put in some. Whoops. Long inserters there. And we're also going to put some here. And you may not have known this, but you can actually put two long inserters in a row um, to pull from two belts that are next to each other. And then the, the third belt that's going to go up here eventually is going to... Well, yeah, we're going to have to start doing some undergrounds here to make all this, to make all this work on this side and on this side. Okay, so let's uh, let's just do something that requires blue science. There, let's do advanced material processing too, just to make sure we can get the blue science packs into all of our labs. There we go. Okay, so uh, checking this again. All the machines are working. Uh, you can tell by pressing Alt to make the icon disappear, and as long as you see the gears turning, everything is running. So, uh, in our engines, those appear to be running happily as well. All right, so we're good to go. That's Blue Science. Hope you enjoyed this. Uh, if you have any questions or other feedback, please let me know, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks again. Bye bye.